Um, I had always wanted to play with a big band because I loved them. My dad had all the Basie, Thad and Mel, and Dizzy Gillespie records. Nobody talks about Dizzy's big band, but oh my gosh. Dizzy and Grease was one of my favorite records. You know, school days, you know, that stuff. It's unbelievable. Hey, Pete. So then there was an opportunity through my very close friend, Chris Liga, who at that time was saying, well, there might be, you know, an opportunity for you to do that. And he, I think he created one, and because I didn't even have to talk to the band leader, Jeff Lindbergh, and I showed up at Fitzgerald's, and um, I wasn't great by any means, but I, they, they sure gave me the, uh, the wiggle room to keep playing with them, and I'm internally grateful because there was so much of that that they pretty much, honestly, they could have shown me the door after the first gig and uh, giving me the old uh, Chicago gangster boot out in the middle of Cicero Avenue, and I would have deserved it. But they were very patient, and they're really a loyal uh, bunch of people, uh, like a family. They are. They're really tolerant of people's personalities. They just want you to be committed to the music and to the organization. And, um, and I thank them dearly for giving me the opportunity to do all that.